Do you want to know what's in my makeup bag? Then keep watching this video to find out. Ooh. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel all about Aoife. I'm Aoife and today I'm going to be talking you through what is in my makeup bag. I have some of my essentials, my must-haves and stuff I use every single day in here and I'm going to talk you through it. So first of all I thought I'd start off by talking about my makeup bag which I absolutely love. It's this satin Ted Baker makeup bag. I actually got this as a present years ago from my friend Rachel. It was um, a secret Santa present and I love it. I've had it ever since. Usually it's kind of overflowing and the zip doesn't usually close but I've kind of paired it back today to show you some of my essentials and my must-haves. It has these little rose gold accents which I love. Rose gold is my fave and the flowers are just so pretty. So let's talk through some of my products. So I have to start off with my foundations which are definitely essentials in my makeup bag. I have two foundations, one is for when I'm more tanned, maybe when I'm on holidays and this is more for everyday wear. This is my Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow foundation from Benefit. It's really nice, it's nice to let your skin breathe and it's not that heavy. This one has a bit more coverage and it's more for when I have fake tan on or when I'm on holidays. This is the Dior Skin Nude Foundation. They're both amazing and definitely essential in my makeup bag. Next up is my powder. This is Essence All About Matte. It's a fixing compact powder. Sometimes the cheaper products can be better than the more expensive ones. Definitely for me, more drugstore makeup is in my makeup bag than anything else. I love cheap makeup, it works, and sometimes it's as good as the more expensive stuff. Mascara is a definite essential in my makeup bag. If you don't have anything on your face and you put on a bit of mascara, all of a sudden you're like, wow, your eyes are made up. So definitely need mascara in any makeup bag. If you don't have it, you need to get some. Next up is the concealer. This is MAC Match Master Concealer. It's a cream stick concealer in 1.0 and it's kind of new so it's nice and pretty and there's lots of it which I love. So this is another essential. You have to have concealer in your makeup bag and I actually have two types. This is the one I would use every day and then I have this Boying one from Benefit. This is good but it is quite strong and it does set into the creases so it's more for areas like the chin and the cheeks. Uh, maybe the forehead and places that doesn't really have too many creases. I have to talk about my strobe cream from MAC. I got this product a couple of years ago and I haven't looked back. I use it every single day under my foundation just to give your skin that nice lovely glow. I definitely recommend this product. It's an essential for me in my makeup bag and I love it. It's worth the investment. Get it. Next up is bronzer. Who doesn't love bronzer? I adore bronzer. I used to use a lot of bronzers and I wasn't too particular in which one I used and then I realized that you can get bronzers without shimmer in it and I was like I need that in my life. So this is a matte bronzer by MAC and it's really good for kind of just contouring and putting uh, it on areas where the sun would naturally kiss your face. So that's another essential in my makeup bag. Of course, where there is bronzer, there is always a bit of blusher. This is my Charlotte Tilbury blusher. It is a swish and pop blusher, and it actually has like bronzy, blushy thing going on here, but it is more of a pinky tone, so I use it as a blusher. Definitely don't need a lot of this on your brush. It's quite highly pigmented. It does have a little bit of shimmer, which is nice when you're going for the matte bronzer. So yeah, I love this product, and I hardly have used any of it. It's lasted for ages. Uh, it would wanna because this is a little bit expensive. But it's definitely worth the investment. Love Charlotte Tilbury products. Next up in my makeup bag is this Inglot eyeshadow. This is definitely a favorite. I use this nearly every day on my eyes. I just put a tiny bit on to give my eyes a little bit of a pop. Because I have blue eyes, this brown works really well. I think it's shade 335, but I'll list the products in the description below anyway. I love this one. Inglot eyeshadows are amazing. They're also really pigmented, so they're brilliant. You only need a little bit of product on at a time. This is definitely another essential in my makeup bag. So more on the eyes, I have these two compacts here which are perfect for eyes. This one here is an Essence Quattro eyeshadow. It kind of has some nice um, shimmery shades in golds and mauves and white and they're perfect bases for the eyes. I really love this product. I actually got it in a goodie bag so it was kind of by default. It's called Creme de la Creme which is nice and yeah I definitely love this product. This one is Catrice Liquid Metal. It's just nice to have kind of a metallic -y one in your makeup bag all the time so if you're out and about and you need just a little jazz up of the eyes this is perfect for in the corners and just in the center to really brighten the eye so I definitely recommend this in your makeup bag. 
Of course, my makeup bag wouldn't be complete without highlighter. I love highlighter. I have two different types in my makeup bag all the time. I've got a cream stick one from Kiko, which is this lovely golden shade. It's really nice and it just blends really well into the skin. And I also have a powder highlighter, which is the Mary Lou Manizer by BAM. This is unreal. You need to get this if you don't have it already. Oh, I'm always so afraid when I'm opening it that, oh, there we go. So this highlighter reminds me of fairy dust. I can just imagine little Tinkerbell pressing her little feet into the compact to create this gorgeous goldeny glisten highlighter. This is definitely one of the best on the market at the moment. The Balm has some amazing products and I definitely recommend this highlighter. I love it. Next up we have the eyebrows. I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. It's perfect for my eyebrows and I've tried other things before such as pencils and creams and powders and I keep going back to this. This is fabulous. It's waterproof. It's the Aqua Brow and it lasts for years because you only need the tiniest bit of product. I definitely would recommend this. I also have eyeliner in my makeup bag. I am addicted to eyeliner. I've been wearing it for years. I always do a winged eye. I, my, I don't think my eye looks finished unless I do a winged eyeliner. And people always ask me how I get my eyeliner like that, but it's just really years of practice. I have this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner, but I've tried loads of different eyeliners over the years. I used to use a MAC one, and I only kind of started to use this because I ran out of my MAC one, and this was in the makeup bag, and I've continued to use it. I love it because it has a really, really small brush at the top, really thin and it lets you get in at the eye and get that nice defined eyeliner look that you're looking for. Oh, I also should have mentioned another product I have for the cheeks is this Silky Touch Blush by Essence. I like this product because it's in between a blush and a bronzer and it's nice for kind of a natural glow. I kind of use it over my bronzer sometimes, especially just in here near the, near the ear to just really define and deepen that line there and so you can get a nice contoured effect. So I really recommend recommend this product. Another cheap product, drugstore makeup is the best. So we are moving on to the end of my makeup bag. I know, I don't actually have that many products in here. So some of my not so essentials but must haves for a makeup bag. This black eyeshadow from MAC. I think it's really good to just have one individual kind of dark eyeshadow in your makeup bag because sometimes if you're on the go or you're finished work and you have a really natural makeup look and you realize, oh, I'm going out tonight and you want to darken down your makeup, this is the perfect thing to have in your makeup bag. Pop a little bit of this on, put it a little bit under your eye and all of a sudden you've gone from a day look to a night look in seconds. The second product I'm gonna be showing you in my makeup bag is also similar to this one in the sense that I wouldn't wear it every day, but it is perfect for jazzing up your makeup look and it is red lippy. I have this number seven one, I love it because it's matte and it doesn't really run at all, which some red lipsticks can do. So combined with your black, eyeshadow and your red lippy, you'd be ready for a night out and you wouldn't even have thought about it before. So lastly, we're moving on to the last two items in my makeup bag. These are not essentials, but they're kind of must-haves for me. Number one is a tweezers. It's definitely good to have tweezers in your bag. Sometimes you're in lighting and you just realize, hmm, there's a little hair there that I forgot to get earlier and you don't have tweezers and you're like, oh no, I have to go home now and get that tweezers. But if you have it in your makeup bag always, you will never need to worry. I also have two tweezers, one is somewhere else and one's always just at the bottom of my makeup bag. Okay, and lastly we're moving on to, oh, there's two items left. One is nail varnish. Yeah, you never would have thought that why does she have nail varnish in her makeup bag? Because you know when you're out and about, you're traveling maybe, or you're going um, out for the day and you think you'll need a little top up, top up and suddenly you realize you haven't painted your nails or you get a chip in your nail or you just have a nail dilemma and you need nail varnish. Bam, you have nail varnish at the end of your makeup bag. You didn't think that you needed it, but now you suddenly do. This one is pink and it's a nice one from Catrice. It's really, ooh, it's called Meet Me at the Coral Island. Hey. Okay, and the, finally, the last item in my makeup bag is, it's black eyeliner. This is a cold eyeliner, and it's perfect just for deepening down the eyes and nighttime looks, and I really like using this 
when I'm going out. It's de I definitely wouldn't recommend it for a day, but definitely for nighttime, I'd say always have a black eyeliner in your bag. So that's it guys, I have showed you everything in my makeup bag, it's all emptied out now. I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog, I've really enjoyed making it. If you like my hair in this tutorial, then make sure to check out my glam curl tutorial on how to achieve really easy glamorous curls. And of course, subscribe, like and comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching, that's all about Aoife, out.